Okay. Night 11 is going to be, I think, a little a little rough. Uh, I, uh, I don't want to pretend otherwise. Uh, seeing bulkies is, uh, is unpleasant, to say the least. Just, just deleting fools. Uh, that's, that's what Morgana is good for. 600 hit points on the uh, on the sensors feels like a lot. Um, okay, so now over here. Okay, first of all, get you filled up. Okay, Layla, don't disappoint me. So far, not, not completely disappointed. Um, okay, before we move, let's get you out of the way. It is fun having a character that just crits 100% of the time. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice. Ooh, can't quite get you. Okay. This side looks like it's an absolute nightmare, though. Um, And, and the fact that it's on a bias is just especially, like, frustrating. Um, now, I know by being here, I'm committing... Ah, I may just run away. Uh, the, the thing that I'm thinking about right now is... If I go too deep, these bulkies have to die. Um, which I don't really, I don't think I'm ready for that. Really? I can't see you? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so if I move to here... I have to move to here. That that feels like I don't think I'm getting the bulky dead enough. Uh, all right, well, let's see how bad or well this goes. Oh, that was very disappointing. Probably just got you killed, now that I look at it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's probably what happened. Is there anything I can do to save you? No, probably not. Yeah, these guys are just going to come in and kill you. Shoot. We're better off standing here because we're only going to take it from one spearman. Uh, unless the spearman stands here and here. Okay, we're getting it from both spearmans. Uh, 
No, Aquaman. No. No, no, no. I think instead, I'm going to start running Morgana over, expecting the death. And I'm going to have Dan come up here, and Dan can do this side solo, and Morgana's going to have to do a hard side on her own. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, still alive. Still alive. I'm gonna move to here. Okay, I want to get to this bulky. Because of reasons. I guess moving here is probably the safest. I do see that elite lancer. Uh, they are not. They are not lost on me. All right. Let's. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, How far can you run? All right, I think we can. I think we can clean things up. I don't know why the bulky got got immediately uh, tagged there. But look at these isolation hits. It's trying to show off, and what does she do? She drops the ball. All right. So then over here. Again, the, the sides that have two people, I'm feeling pretty comfortable, uh, which may mean I need to do a bit of a rotation to support... Uh, To support the ones that are a bit more outmatched. Look at those numbers, though. Oh my gosh. It's quite the quite the turn for Angel. Angelica. She uh she does work. Okay, so you two are just good. Um and this side looks like a nightmare. Um and we need to we need to run away because if we don't, uh we're gonna we're gonna end up taking casualties. Uh can I get my my initiator is being blocked by these, uh, these duders. Like from here, I guess I can get you, and that works. We'll put one there, and then uh, don't put one there. Um, <laughs> that's bad for business. Uh, it's a pretty underwhelming. The amount of block that things have, though, is is the problem. Uh, this guy being this guy being in the in the fog and also blocking line of sight that is a, a terrible combination. Okay. Okay, you've used up everything. Hold on. So we need to be smart about where we run away to. I think we run away to here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna make the choice that Danica is gonna move down here because I think this is uh, this is the danger zone for us. So wait, who hasn't used points? Oh, Danica hasn't. And also, we can use Danica's health pot here. Hey, hey, Juan! New patch is live. It's uh, it's awesome. Uh, I'm very excited about the uh, about the new patch. Okay, taking a little bit of damage. Uh, so whole new map. They just completely redid it. There's an actual lake up here in the corner, Juan. Uh, they changed the way that production buildings work. They changed the way that mist sensors work. Uh, it's just a lot of stuff. Uh, basically, a lot has changed. Uh, I, uh, I made a whole video on it as a side note if you are uh, if you are curious uh, I linked it in chat earlier I can probably go find it again but uh, but the short version is this is a major update uh, there's still some technical issues obviously as uh, as demonstrated by the fact that that errant uh, catapult landed over here and then did damage over here but uh, okay and don't take a hit please. But yeah, many, many, many changes, uh, for sure. Uh, the mist sensors are really messing with everything. Let's do that. Wow. That worked. That, that was the luckiest propagate I think I have ever had. But this character uh, is not doing great. Wow, armor piercing just doesn't do a lot on this guy, does it? Holy cow. All right, well, nothing seems to do a lot. And it's a runner that's getting back. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, we have to be a little conservative with our mana, we've learned. But when we get a, a big hit like this, I think we should probably uh, put in the time. Then we can move to here, get the... get to here and then all right we're gonna have to kind of push back things a bit this way um uh here no I, i'll just find it for you um i don't mind I'm, it might actually still be in my clipboard uh one i believe that is what uh that is the droid that you are looking for yep that that's the one Oh no, this is interesting though. Um, for the first time, I'm a little nervous about Morgana here uh, because we just have too many targets. Yeah, no, of course, Juan. Thank you for uh, thank you for checking it out. I uh, I appreciate it. Unclear if that was a, a judicious use of, uh, <laughs> of company resources, but. Okay, then we move down to here and we delete this fool how, how does it feel to crit every attack that's the that's the question that we're answering with uh with angelique here i 
it feels kind of like a catapult with a lazy eye like it the you're looking over here and then the catapult goes off over here it's kind of kind of interesting uh and then i think we're gonna do this run through even though uh nothing comes of it and i'm gonna use the healing potion over here but can we we can drop a lightning just not much of one i guess we get to kill these guys so that's good Oh, you don't have line of sight on that mist sensor? That's very unfortunate. Um, the, the fact that we can't shoot this one is quite quite humorous. Uh, okay, the Lancer is min misty. That's going to be a little annoying. And we're going to get a heal off here, which is good. Might as well armor up here, but the the top holding is going to be rather important, uh, and I'm a little concerned about it. Okay, let's start over here because I'm places I'm getting nervous. Okay, we're we're in the we're in the home stretch here, so I'm I'm feeling relatively good. Oh, this. <laughs> Angelique is just the most fun person to to work with. I feel like uh, having an elite Clara coming in is a little less than what I was hoping for. Can't quite make that work. Um, the mist, the mist on this guy is really, I guess we just... Okay, better. We're going to do a lot more. There's going to be a lot more impact to not having the runners here, I feel like. Now, over here. So, okay. So, Danica, up and over the wall you go. You step to here. Get get healed so you're not quite as, uh, as dead. But now, here's... Okay, and I, I think, Dan, you need to get in here first. Okay. That was a satisfactory something or other. We need some skill range here, uh, for sure. I think this is relatively safe. Uh, put one there, put one there, put two there, I guess. Oh, that two was a bad selection there. That little armory dude is not going to take three hits, I don't think. Oh, he did. Wow. Okay. Say, how many hit points did that guy have? Now we have Big Game Hunter, which is why I'm willing to go in on this bulky. Because we do a ton of damage. Yeah, 400 on a crit from a multi-hit attack is kind of, kind of awesome. And then if I move to here, does this give me the ability to just drop one of these? Yes, it does.
Oh, not enough action points. That was a bit of a bit of a fumble there. Uh, ooh, and then no hand crossbow range on these is a bummer as well. Uh, I'm worried I'm going to get some hits taken here if I'm not careful. That could be bad. We'll see. Oh my gosh, the poison! <laughs> Just slow everybody up, right? Didn't mean to move there. Why can't I hit this guy? Is this guy really in the way of me being able to hit this guy? That was insane. Okay, we're not going to get anything else out of that. And now my, my biggest concern is that Danica takes two hits from two spearmen from two steps away. That would be bad for business. I think, uh, I think Human Ballista just bailed us out there, as it has a tendency to do. Eh, only a little bit. Only half bailed. Okay. I'm gonna do this, though. And now, before I forget or squander it, uh, I'm gonna... I'm going to open with this. And then where's, where's my last one? Oh, this guy's probably going to survive the first salvo. All right, that was just about perfect. And now... That was disappointing, though. Okay, this is under control. How is this looking over here? Uh, I think I think it'll be okay. As long as we get rid of these guys. Which that was way less than I was hoping it would be. Uh, huh. Yeah, that was actually that was actually very disappointing. Uh, was that one three three seven that I just saw there? I think it was. I think Angel Angelica just literally crit for uh for one three three seven. Okay. She has volatile, so this'll this'll bounce around. Can't quite get where we need to get on that one, so I think we'll just uh, make sure this bulky is roasted. It's a little late in the night to be uh, getting rid of that, but he was in my way. Uh, Yeah, not having base multi-hit and and reverting to two after the initiator proc is uh, not great. I don't I don't think we're getting much more value out of this. I didn't kill that. Jeez. Okay, we got a full a full complement of actions here though. And then 
what? I think we go into this slot. Okay, that was pretty good. We're doing okay. Okay, looks good. Everybody's out of range. This side is, is perhaps the most worrisome. But I, I'm hoping that we've kind of turned the corner. Human Ballista. I just... I know I sing its praises endlessly, but... So good. Oh, we didn't even get you... We didn't even get Danica out of, uh... Out of Wounded? No, wait, not Danica. Excuse me. Cassie? That's that's shocking. Who needs poison when just the damage from your propagate spell deletes everybody? Uh That is that's taking too much uh too much to secure those kills for sure. Okay, all good. Everybody over here is just hanging out. That was a non-crit? I, I literally didn't think that Angelica could do that. Oh, this guy remains. All right, next turn. So what's your total damage bonus at this point from Berserking? 24%? Not bad. Okay, that night went significantly better than last night where everyone died. Oh, the XP comes lit slow late game. Holy cow. We'll probably have to get a temple, just because I want... I think I want... I mean, we have a health potion, though. So, I don't know yet, Juan, because it's not offered to me. So, like, this is a production thing, and I have no reroll. And I have, if I go to the Oracalcum, I, I have two locked unlocks down here. And I'm assuming maybe you have to win your first run before you start getting unlocks. So I'm, I'm hoping this is a win and, uh, and with it we can, we can find out. But uh, I'm I'm a little disappointed because I've had some truly terrible rolls. Uh, and I wish that I had... It's got to be Big Game Hunter here, I think, for the third one. And then just more damage. More damage. And probably more accuracy, too. Uh, I checked. I checked both of them. I don't think. Uh, I don't think there's anything over here. But oh, thank you for the suggestion, Marcus. Uh, you ha you have to craft twenty five items. We've crafted three hundred and forty nine. Okay. Well, now we have unlocks. Uh, the production buildings are much much stronger now. Uh, one. Now are these unlocked? These are still not unlocked. Uh, that's interesting. I kind of expected that uh, 
after you got that one you would now does that mean i immediately have rerolls i do interesting uh well i think we're going to be using some of those uh because that was trash mithril shortbow who's our shortbow person it's angelica damage opportunism uh, i think i think our short bow is better than this one unfortunately uh probably the ap trinket all things being equal well oh look at that that's fun Opportunism pants. Morgan, what pants are you wearing? Oh, you're wearing insane pants. Never mind. And these all look like trash, so we'll just pick one that is cheap for the night reward. The holy ring. Morgan, you already have, yeah, an insane trinket. Like, probably the strongest trinket I've ever had. That Baron Cape with 2 AP, 20 poison damage, and 17, like, main stat damage is insane. I guess the spiked boots of these three, but none of those are particularly interesting. And then of these, again, we're just we're just buying to sell. Uh, this I will find a home for. This might come in handy. This, Dan, what are you rocking? The mana ring. I only put on the mana ring. Ah, it does have the physical damage. Yeah. Let's sell those. Uh, oh, we found a multi-hit item. <laughs> I, I think I'm actually going to buy this as the offhand for our uh, crossbow person. <laughs> um, that's, a, that's, a, that's something special uh, for sure. And then Morgan, you, yeah, you have great pants. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah, no, this, this staff is actually really good for our, uh, for our hand crossbow person. Morgan's up here being all broody. Come on down. There we go. Yeah, so this is going to be, although it's, it's two propagation bounces for two propagation bounces because the mithril hand crossbow had two propagation bounces, but that's okay. Uh, now let's check for other multi-hit. We need more multi-hit. Oh yeah, it would also be good for a regular person. It's a, it's a very strong item, agreed. But uh, but most strong in in this case for uh, for them. And then propagation and action point. That I like it for the physical damage. This defensive turtle charm is base. Ah, well, the propagation damage is nothing to sneeze at. Okay, yeah, that that can be replaced. Okay, and then we have 700 gold. But let's, uh, so we've already pushed back, so let's uh, spend these. Figuring out where to dole out your rerolls is going to be uh, challenging. Steel rifle. Is, I don't really like the rifle terribly much. The It's this ability here. Suppressive fire is the strong one, and it's good. But I don't think it's good enough to replace anything. It might be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this up and we'll see. Because the 30% isolation is quite strong. 3% crit seems really low on that. Propagation damage... Cassie, what's your chest right now? Bounces versus damage? I think I prefer bounces. So none of these are any good. Uh, so I got, I got a little bit of everything going on, if I'm being honest. Wait, oh, multi-hit? on the wand and propagation bounces. It's strictly worse than the other one, unfortunately. Uh, 
than the druid staff we already bought. So this I might use. This is going, this is going. So the perk setups, to just go over them really quickly, uh, we have Dan, who's very melee heavy, uh, very, very tanky, sitting at 42 block. Uh, we have Danica, who is just dropping lightning bolts like it's going out of style. Uh, Angelique has 71% crit and legendary assassin and is just like pumping uh, insane damage. Uh, Morgan LeFay is rocking an insane amount of both isolation at 170% and poison damage at 310%. So her poison is stupid strong. Uh, Layla is... Layla is kind of a weird one, but just putting out good single target damage uh, doesn't have anything too terribly remarkable. Uh, Cassie is our, we're trying to build someone for multi-hit. Uh, hand crossbow, it's not going great. Uh, the tier 5 perk here is Berserk, which is every time your hero is attacked, they gain 3% damage for the rest of the night. Rest of the night, right? I believe so. Modifiers reset every morning. Okay, so we have we still have a absolutely disgusting amount of money. We also still have one. Uh, oops, I just put someone. We still have one more worker. I think I'm going to add help the armor maker to get one more piece of armor. Warrior's greaves. A rusty shield with. Ah, yeah, Rusty Shield with range damage. Yes, please. Because we can put that as the offhand for Cassie. Get her damage up a little higher. Now, the person I was thinking about doing... Oh, yeah. Uh, so, Clever, my Dan has a, an insane amount of block and a solid amount of armor. He's been doing really well. Uh, he's been very, uh, very successful in being tanky. Uh, so then this character here has a longbow and a wooden crossbow. This crossbow is not great. I think I'm going to swap in this steel rifle because it, it amps up our isolation quite a bit. Yeah, I'm not really going for a dodge build. Uh, we've been taking it all on the chin and it's been okay. Uh... I, I generally don't like dodge because dodge is something that you can low roll. And uh, when you low roll dodge, people die. So I don't like uh, relying too heavily on, on dodge uh, for that reason. Okay, we're gonna, well, now we're gonna re-roll the shop. Well, what else? So let's see, we have, I wanna, I want to repair our walls. Which is, I know now there's a button for that, which is pretty awesome. Uh, for another 47, I'll repair the defenses too. And then I think... I'm going to leave... Like, this area here, I think, is relatively defensible, so I'm not super concerned about that. I don't think this is going to go very far. Actually, I take it back. I think uh, as long as we don't go for the reinforced stone walls, I think we're going to be in relatively good shape. Yeah, we have a we have a pretty solid wall going on right now, and I want to add one more catapult. We got two, 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 and two, so let's add one more catapult here. This is the second time that catapult, uh, the catapult has bugged out, and I haven't been able to select it, uh, which is very interesting. Like I can, I can create a mounted ballista, I can create a watchtower, create a damage trap, but I can't create that. Uh, I'm thinking about also spending a lot of money on uh, ballista seasoned operators because those are very strong as well. All right, I'll come back to that in a second. So we know that the shop needs to get re-rolled at least once. And then we are looking for multi-hit on items. 
That trinket is also super good. Who did I just give the, the rifle to? That's Layla. And she has a trinket slot. I think I can't turn that down. I want to get her isolation up to be one-shotting things. But no... No multi-hit. These start to get very expensive here. Uh... <laughs> These rerolls, like every single reroll is like one less seasoned operator that we get. And no multi-hit. Yeah, at some point, I think you're just... You can only force multi-hit builds so hard. Uh, so yeah, so each ballista is 50. That's, that's too good not to do. Because they've been, they've been pumping damage. And I can get my second catapult now. There we go. Our ballistas are all upgraded. That will be good for business. And then Danica, you give away your potion. And Cassie, you clearly need it because apparently you just take a lot of damage. Now, we haven't done guess where, so I'm actually going to upgrade one of these just so that we can know where the big waves are okay everyone is a small wave that's uh that's interesting <laughs> i i think i'll pass on on buying potions but uh but thank you uh thank you clever for the suggestion we're uh we're on the hunt for multi-hit We are on the hunt for multi-hit. Uh, it's... Oh, I wish. I wish. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Is this worth buying for Morgan Le Fay as an offhand? No, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But yeah... All right, we struck. We struck out. I'm not going to spend any more there. Uh, Multi-hit potions, yeah, because just what we need is more multi-hit in the game. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess I roll it once more. Now we're going to get something sick. Uh, that's pretty sick. Yeah, it looks like the game did not want to give us multi-hit, and I understand. I, I support it in that decision. So how are we gonna how are we gonna make this work? Morgan's been doing great work over here, so I'm just gonna leave that. Uh I think Danica is better at soloing. No, Angelica has been doing an insane job at soloing. But I think we go like this and like this. I think this is our setup. Okay, so one of the things that's supposed to be happening is the number of the number of sensors is supposed to be increasing. Yeah, the only thing we could buy is a potion of stone. Scorching wave? Eh, no, not really. I don't think we're using this manic this magic crystal. That doesn't really open anything up for us though. Yeah, so I think we're I think we're just done spending money. So, so yeah, so there's supposed to be more sensors now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I think there are. Uh, oh, I missed it, Aquaman. Is, is it still there? Yeah, there, there's some insane items that you get later on. Okay, so this is night 12, which is indeed the final night. Now, the the patch notes said that this night has will eventually have a new boss, but for now just has a special wave. So I think 
something weird is going to happen. Um, I just don't know what it is. I don't think there's anything else we can spend our money on. I do think... Uh, Dan, where are you? Dan, you just need to be... You need to be out in the fray. All right, let's uh, let's give this a go. I know I'm leaving gold on the on the table. 